The crew have all received their tetanus shots from their encounter at Splinter. We are now ready to tackle Kuyate for access to highly desirable flare munitions. We start episode 8 as Captain Bobcat puts the crew back to work. Battle stations! Battle stations! Man is spotted, bearing 335, hot! Morning. Need some orange juice. Oh, what? Through to the bridge. Through to the bridge. What? What in the blazes? Oh no. What's he want now? Is there a nuke going off outside or something? It's your good morning, Flare. <laughs> Up and at him, boys. Ugh. Jesus. <laughs> I didn't bring any sunscreen, crikey. What do you have to do to get a oh. cup of tea on this thing? Purple has just taken Duessa. That's not according to plan. Oh, oh. It might be according to their plan. Yellow. Did they not read the script? Yellow's just taking magma. Here. Uh, okay, well. I guess. Do we want to fight a carrier? Or do we want to go get more stuff? Um. Is such a strong word. I just woke up, so. Uh, Sure. Well, it's very foggy to the east. That yeah, should be zero nine zero. Are they gonna like loom out of the mist and you know? Well, if they just took that island, it should be not built up yet, correct? I can see strobe lights. We're getting battle music. Three aircraft. This is swordfish well, nearby. Right? Yeah, that swordfish is creeping closer. Uh, do you think it'll notice your giant flare, Bob? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Got a torpedo coming up from the south as well. Uh, so for the record, the fog's getting worse. I can't even see the other island now. It's probably a good thing. Oh, that's because it's behind us. I'm equipping a couple mantas for air-to-air. -air. I have a question. Why did you wake us up and now it's night? Because we're on the night shift. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. Who's on the day shift? It was a two hour afternoon nap. It should have been enough. Okay. I'm going to proceed under being get, very cranky. We get paid extra at night anyway. It's unsociable hours pay. Okay. There are a lot of strobes. Where? Uh, Just off the port porter. So, 90s, that's probably purple. And hey, look at that, we've about, got our headlights on, so they'll see us. Zero, two, four. We may be under attack. I like the maybe. Taking us deeper cat waters. Should I get a cat manta airborne? Yes, please. Zero two four, yeah, that's coming from Twilight, so that They're probably active, so that's probably Twilight's air defense. I'm looking at Naides, their air defense is up as well. Torpedo coming from the south could be uh, indicative of something. Uh, 
those aircraft are at Thermopylae. I love how your inadvertent alarm button was accurate. It was completely on purpose. Our captain's just that good. The editor is a little bit better. Well, on five demerits, thumble gadget. Oh no, no, Kazik! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I'll take credit where credit's due. Also, our new stylish camouflage manta is up on deck. This is actually a great time to talk about something that happened earlier. I think this will help us, though. Oh, hello, new paint job. I thought that this would make us harder to see and therefore win better. Um, okay. Winning better is is more gooder. You yeah. know, I would be even more impressed if you could put our logo on the side of the, the hull. <laughs> hmm. Just throwing that out there. I thought so a bit of bit of camouflage might make us stealthy, stealthy. Oh, and it's on the barges and the uh, needlefish too. It'll be on the vehicles and everything. It'll look uh, really cool. We're going to get a bill for this, aren't we? I, uh, it's in the post. Excellent. Check this baby out, they'll never see it coming. Yeah, that, that's why we were asleep. We spent all day painting the carrier. And the viewers will love it, I'm sure. It's a shame you can't turn off the lights, though. According to Karate Kid, I'd be able to uh, block a whole bunch of stuff. All right, one thing we need is up in here. Cameras. Yeah, for some reason I launched a damaged one, but we'll be fine. Okay, Thumble has manual control. Going to get on station and you guys back. I have a visual on a petrol at 003. There's a swordfish southwest of Twilight. I don't know if it's alone or not, but it doesn't appear to be moving much, if at all. Gonna stay away from that. Do we want to bomb it and just get, get it off the map? If you want to put a bomber up, I'll go and uh, pay to visit. The swordfish can get one up. So whether you consider it uh, restricts our movement or not, it might take an aircraft out if we're not careful. The only thing is, beyond it, there are another couple of ships. Not on radar, but I can see them visually. The Manta's got five bombs. Yes, and no flares. I keep being told I need flares. Yeah, we need. I think the island to the north is definitely active. Yeah, defenders at twilight. Alright, let's move the carrier over to Kuyate, because that has flares. I think that is right now. It's close. It's kind of our top priority. Affirmative, yeah. heading west. Do you see any ships? Negative at Kuyate, I killed them all. Negative, I think you killed them all. Here it looks empty. Alright, gonna launch them into 
Sure. Bomber. There's at least one active sea whiz. Yeah. Actually, did we have something with a gun turret? With a no. gimbal gun? No, that was me looking at the wrong screen, thinking we had them. The only problem I have as I drop these bombs is I'm not sure if I'm killing anything. Uh, walrus, seal, bear, one of each. Ah, prizes. Gonna lose the headlights soon, so I'm just gonna use my bombs on what I can track. I mean, check the uh, command post for turrets, too. Those are you. Uh, another Manta going up in the air right now. It's another bomber, and I queued launch up a TV. As well. Okay, we're just getting close enough to start painting targets now. That Manta might not be out of sea with his altitude by the time he gets there. Yeah, I'll take it. Punch up to the sky. To the stratosphere. I don't think it's too I don't think 2,000 meters counts as a stratosphere. It's less homesick angel rather than homesick stepdad. Ah, I took the turrets out. Useful knowing these compounds and where everything is. Right, I've set that bomber to return and take the other bomb. Titanic Seawiz on 271 from the ship. Next man is up. Also might have the same the altitude the problem. He's at the foot of the cliff. Say again, last uh, Kazakh? Uh, I was just saying that... Uh, the next Manta was up and it might have the same altitude problem, but it turned further south. We've got another Sea Whiz right next to us. Um, are we free to spend 160? Um, no. We should conserve that. Cruise I'm going to say that's in the docket yes. pretty soon, though. Yeah, um, not here. That's... Pickle? Not soon. Oh, I think you got him. Yeah, we probably got a half a dozen islands before we're starting to look at 160. There's a sea with seal on the east beach. Okay, I think that mantis landing should be. If it's not, watch out for it in the circuit. Uh, not the greatest position, so. Yeah, it's, it's on the deck. The cup of action. Uh, hostile missile launch? Yeah, I'm the sea whiz. Enemy aircraft. Um, yeah, right side, front. Got a oh. cap for that. Defended. I'll chance them to. Pickle. Another missile incoming. We're very limited on 20 mil, for the record. Like, we have zero reloads, but the magazine is all we have. Ooh, watch that. Let's not get in cruise missile range. We're getting range those here, them. though. I believe 20 mil is here. Yes, it is. I know what we're building with four players. Should 
Shack one walrus. What's the plan to play vehicles? Yeah, can we get a little closer to the command center? Uh, Found another seaways. I think actually. ground units, but there's a lot of. I've, I've seen at least two IR mobile IR launchers. So be clear. Okay, I found uh, a another seaways. Found a place we can make ingress with land forces. Uh, should I wait for this to land first? It's just literally under landing pattern. Yeah, we can wait. There's an inviting looking slope just to the right of us. This would actually be a decent place to land some uh, ground forces. We do have a lot more coming. Uh, four walrus and two bears in uh, reinforcement. And get things moving right away. I mean, we've got the firepower. Alright, this bank is down. Let's swing around. How about two bears, two forty mil? We got the forty mil. 40 mil? Yes, and there's a lot more coming soon. Excellent. Okay, I'm gonna start unloading. Got eyes on a walk, uh, sea whiz. Go for bombing. Good shack. Double shack. Excellent. Okay, we're gonna get another the, bomber um, airborne. Remember the 40 mil um, units tend to like wasting ammo. If I can get a closer look with the TV and spot anything. Compound looks clear. I am missile out. No see what shot at you. There's an IR missile coming out. It's heading to us. Left side. Heading towards you, Bob. Sea Wiz is armed if you want to drag it over here. It's um, gone in the back. It's just done a 180, which is a bit weird. Okay, I'm in a TV missile. Oh, it's you. Mantle. Okay. Sorry, I thought it was a uh, oh. <laughs> I found a turret. <laughs> I thought I was a fire missile. <laughs> well, I, I just sort of appear near your plane and sort of follow you for a bit. <laughs> That's what I should call a like, rifle or something. So I think I launched our ground units too early. I didn't, didn't catch them. We were moving around. That might be the better place to go up anyway, Brad. I'm looking at a whole lot of cliff and no ramps. It's a shame we can't get eyes on anything because we've got that artillery bear. We've got a ground scope, haven't we? Or at least the ability to make them? Uh, maybe. Check something. I heard something go boom. Yeah, that's that turret I was working on. Finally got it with some TV.
I'll do a low pass over the compound, see if anything shoots him. Watch that. Oh, there's some sea whiz shooting at the missile. Missile defeated. Okay, it's somewhere on the north section of the island. Avoid that section, Thumble. So Roger. break up, break off. Ah, uh, my other bomb is launching, that's good. We don't have to worry about it, actually, because we'll capture it. Yeah, I think with the ground units, I think the only thing we need to worry about is IR. As long as they don't catch us by surprise. And we've got two walrus and... two better than a walrus. Two walrus and a bear unit. Um, so they can take one hit at least. Should we send them in? Let's do it. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna grab a walrus. I'll stay on top cover. Ready when you are, Captain. Okay, yeah, you can ingress to the compound. Looks like we got two separate detachments. Yeah, I've got a force coming in on the north side, so we will uh, we'll meet you there. Hints of movement. Just doing a bit of scouting. East side of the island preferred, uh, especially the compound. Check for turrets. Turrets are dead. Only two on that compound, and they both had a bomb from me. I see some vehicles on the southwest side. Uh, southwest, those are definitely enemy. I saw a shell. In front. Just one. I see a cluster. And I've stalled. Nice one, Thumble. Pickle? Uh, I think I've got a way up. Are those other two set to follow me? Yes. Thank you. I see three enemy vehicles this side of the island, well away from you guys. Apart from turrets, the rest looks pretty clear at this point. Ah, uh, no need to kill the turrets. We're, we'll get them. I don't see any turrets, but just no headlights, you know? Okay, creeping through the forest. Seal have it jump down into the compound, I think. Copy that. I'm in the bear. Uh, I will escort you on your left side. Not sure that. Just gonna rotate the carrier so I can land an aircraft back. Okay, just be careful, there is Sea Whiz in the northwest 
corner of the island. Go there. Alright, compound looks clear. Gonna jump on down. Spider seal. Spider bear. <laughs> It'd be kind of funny to see where the other ones go because they're on auto follow. Have identified a ramp back out of here. All right. Well, it's deployed. All right. Is it me or is this going way too smoothly? <laughs> Even the bots have the camouflage. Yeah, we spent all week painting. That's where we've been. <laughs> goes. Alright, if somebody's available, make sure we got a barge around here. On it. What do we do? Excellent. You want a couple hundred and twenty mil first just for defenses? That was almost too easy. Can we get 17 flares? I mean, okay, so we do have another small munitions close by. I can retask that to the other thing, whatever it is. What is here? It's still got okay. a bunch of 40 mil to make, but like, we've got a good amount of 40 mil now. The eyes on a convoy of enemy vehicles on the south side of the island. They're going to do a bomb run. Like to yeah, prioritize pickle flares. All right, so we'll make flares here. I'll make 20 mil at Bardland, and then um, we should have enough barges here. Yeah, we've got 3,500 40 mil on the way. It's on barges right now. Excellent. Okay, that Sea Wiz is not a turret because we didn't capture it, so it must be mobile. Pickle. Okay, I want you to find that Sea Wiz in the north section of the island. I don't want our planes in the landing pattern getting shot down. Hey, cool. I hear it firing. Did I just kill it? No, nothing on the kill log recently, besides that seal. There's a vehicle near that 30mm turret to bounds. Scratch two. It's more like it. One seal, one walrus. We have the island. I think there's one vehicle left. Make twenty mil and flares.
Yep, sewage vehicle. Yeah, there's one vehicle left. It's a sewage. Okay, where? What's its twenty? Uh, southern side of the island by cliff. Southern side. Okay. I mean, now we have the island, if we have a couple of turrets on here, eventually it'll just blunder into it and it can't hurt them. Yeah, we got to worry about aircraft overhead in the meantime, though. Ah, granted, we're not going to be flying anything on the southern side of this island. Sending out a plane for a long straight run. Alright, what's all the guys? Just being slow. So be oh, this one seems to be stuck. Yep. I don't know what we mean, our vehicles never get stuck. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Bumble just asked for some bear shooting practice. <laughs> what is that, a two, two shield? One. It's a one shield. Oh, a one shield? <laughs> we could literally just lay the carrier alongside, drive in, take it, and drive off. We can't uh, put him on the advanced course yet. Captain, I've suddenly become aware of a force of five needlefish that have appeared from somewhere. Oh, saw that, did you? May have, yeah. yeah. Did they at least come with a new paint scheme so we don't have to go and paint them? Uh, Came they off, may have done. off the factory like that. Yeah. Yep, I think it looks really cool on the needlefish, actually. Put it on the barge as well. It's not a mod, viewers, it's a vanilla game. So we've got two bears with battle cannons loaded. I propose a contest between <laughs> Thumble and Bread. Who can bag <laughs> more seals at Stavros? So what Only do we get out of doing this? You know? I've got I've got one condition. <laughs> What's one that? condition, which is in the edit, Kazik adds score boxes that go ding. See, I thought <laughs> about doing something like that before. Ironically, I thought about doing it for rollovers because Bobcat and I were the ones doing them initially. <laughs> and then Breadroll decided to be like, yo, you think you're good at that? Watch me. <laughs> uh. And I thought about doing it for various things. Well, you can try it out with our bear contest. 
which I'm about to lose. But angrily, so it'll be fun to watch. All right, coming up, if somebody wants to jump in a camera and start spotting, that would probably help. Okay. Where's those needle fish going? Nothing here. Queuing up a manta solely for observation Fish purposes. So are we doing it as number of kills per shot? So efficiency or just the raw number of kills? Because if that's I the think, case, I think, I think it's just raw gun. number. I think you have a bit of both. I mean you can count the ammo at the end and see what's left. Tiebreaker. Then they can't they have to be both deployed before we start. Yes. Yeah. Well, there goes my planned advantage. <laughs> uh, we're about to be uh, shot at. Yeah, I'd, I'd park here and deploy it. Start spitting them out. There's a piece of land they can meet up on and have a starting line. I'll jump in immediately so it doesn't auto fire. Yeah, we're 1.2k. Okay, deployment. Yeah, that vehicle was shooting. I think shooting I've spotted us. everything. Okay. Oh, and there's an added, uh, added difficulty layer. I'm deploying the virus bot seal right away. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Do I get points for getting that? No, it it's, it's an auto vehicle. lose. If it, if it dies, you both lose. <laughs> and then you have to swim to the next island. Alright, you're both out. You're both in control. Go. Okay. Okay, straight for the prize. Kill you until you die from it. Oh, you stopped rubbing me with the seal. It's the dream fumble. Oh, I missed. It's the dream. Oh, oh. it's reefer. Oh, that was cheating. Hey, Kazik, when you edited, that's a ding, ding, ding. I reckon, like a ding, 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 ding. And and make my name flash. You know, for somebody who hasn't done the editing, you're asking for a lot. <laughs> Basically, I just wait for bread to wound them, and then I, hey, that went right past me. <laughs> Needlefish wants to play. Virus seals taking shots. Hope you guys are here to defend me. If you wouldn't be so impetuous. Um, there's still a unit to the northeast, and he's gonna kill the seal with fire spots. Well, I think that's Fred's fault because he's near. Good one. Where is that? 
really? Over there? Yeah, got it. One on the far side of the command center. Well, something exploded. Guess what? You both lose. Why? What did you? What did you do, Kazuki? I did nothing. No, that's an enemy. You did not defend the objective. Good job. No. <laughs> no. So about that editing? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll make it look like Thumble's doing great, and then those bots blow up. What a dramatic finish. Because they did. Spider-Bag, spider Nothing to climb on this island, though. Well, you say that, I nearly wedged myself onto something. I don't see any more targets, apart from this one, this bear. So, it's clear that that person whose name's flashing right now is the person who won. Well done then. Did, and well done to Kazik for ca counting up those scores. Were you shooting at the Manta, Brad? No. The poor virus bots. Alas, poor virus bots. We knew you but briefly. Alright, after this I say we head to genetics, grab some cameras. Uh, we should probably launch a virus bot. Um, Fornax has got rocket launchers, and 20 Ooh. mil cannons, and gimbal guns, and it's on the way. Ah, uh, fine. Sense making. We could totally skip Hades, it's just a barge island. Yeah, okay. In that case, gonna launch a couple planes. I'll take this TV Manta to go and take care of the ship that's at Fornex. Looks yeah. like a needlefish. Let's can fly it. it over there, and if uh, if someone else will, well, a couple of you guys can fly the TV missiles. Oh, me, me, pick me. No, from what I've seen, Brett is the master. You Ooh. are merely oh. an apprentice. I Ooh. I have no idea what I'm doing with TV missiles. It's all panic reflex. <laughs> <laughs> That's fi fighting talk, and we need a contest now. The episode that released today. Clearly show that he is better. Hey, I got the first hit. You slide yours in like you're doing a power skid. Yeah, I know, right? Style points. Okay, who wants to jump in a TV missile? Who will win the TV missile contest? Will Captain Bobcat prove his skill? Will bread roll stay atop the rankings? Find out next week at the same walrus time and on the same walrus channel as the Grim Reapers continue their campaign against evil.